okay guys welcome to this training um today we are going to be looking at domain names and web hosting also we are going to be looking at how to use the control panel so this is our training for website development so this is where we are going to begin so we are going to be first of all uh checking on how to buy a domain name first of all what's the domain name a domain name is um an identifier specifying your website in certain network you know there are many um, servers there are many websites but a domain name is used as a specific identifier to identify you so um, let's get right into it so we are going to be using a domain name provider to be using Namecheap so we go right into Namecheap.com so before you begin you must first of all um have to make sure that your domain name is available so whenever you think of a domain name before you get started with the domain name you need to first of all think of your niche think of your brand and uh how the domain name is going to be of benefit you don't just go randomly and choose a domain name so um there are a couple of tools out there which can help you to suggest domain names for your business if uh, if you don't know, for example, if you go to places like uh, business name generator, name generator, you are going to have yeah yeah you have yeah you have things like name flix. So you just enter the keyword. For example, uh, let's say this is website. So I'll just go on to website. Yeah. So you can yeah brandly names like Google and Rotex. You can start up with something like that. Um yeah, we'll choose medium. I don't want to generate so we are going to allow you to check for some time okay so these are um domain names that you can start with for your brand so it's going to give you it's going to give you nice nice domain names now you can use these names but first of all you must make sure that they are not already being used so you must first of all check the availability okay i go with this one web lob i like the web lob i like web lob so let's um see its availability let me check uh web lob so um while it loads Okay, weblog.com is a premium domain name that means it's surely been taken so um we ought to change we ought to change we ought to change so uh, let's try g website yeah let's try g website g website gwebsite.com taking so g website um let's see let's see let's see i w e w site let's check on this one i w e w site taking wow okay this one is available this one is available okay so this one is available you can go ahead and purchase this domain name you can go ahead and purchase it so um purchasing this yeah you go to proceed to check out proceed to check out yeah you are going to be required some few information so you can uh, choose the period that you want the domain name to be so i'll be selecting you can select one year two years and 
yeah and more services like that so you can also now add hosting if you want to host your website so you add hosting to the package so they'll be able to host your website um okay this is for wordpress hosting wordpress hosting so this is uh, just for normal web hosting okay so this is a uh, yeah that's that's the that this is how much we are going to have to be paying this is how much we are going to be have to be paying for that so this is monthly so we need to choose, take it to years we need to send it to years so start a monthly okay so this is what we need to be paying for the hosting that's what we need to be paying for the hosting and the domain name so if in case you want to proceed with that you go on to confirm order confirm order you sign up create your account details you put your password and everything here so since already I, i've already done this thing i will not uh, go through this but just fill your information you are going to be asked for a card and a bank you are going to do it and uh, continue so um we are going to be proceeding okay so after completing all of that process you are going to be sent uh, your server details you are going to be sent your server details with everything okay you are always going to get a message like this for example this is uh, a domain name this is a domain name you see they are going to give you all the files all the files and the login details so yeah all the files and the login details where you can use now to uh, you can use it to sign up so when you are sent like this um, you can do that so I have the domain name like this I have it like this so what I'm going to be doing is I'll log into cPanel Login to see panel. Okay. Skip, skip. So this is a new account. It's a new account. So this is how it's going to look like. This is how it's going to look like. So this is. Uh, so you have bought your hosting, you have bought your domain name, and you are going to get this. This is mostly the same like this for all content, uh, for all hosting platforms. So what can only change is the physical, um, some few details, but the structure is mostly going to be the same so right in here you see um, we have email account so whenever you start up you first of all you can create an account so let's say this is Mavex Lite I'm going to create you can create an, an account so I can see contact contact at Mavex, com. enter password or click on generate So that's it. So this is this email now is valid. So anytime that someone enters this email on this uh, on yeah and sends a message to that email, it you receive it. You receive it. You are going to have access to uh, a web mail. So that is basically called a web mail. So you can uh, log into your web mail. Yeah, you can log in here. Round cube. Okay, so this is it. So this is the client configuration settings. So these are all the configuration settings. So um, yeah, that's with that. Also here we are going to be getting things like folders. For example, you have created an email. Now that email is a web mail. Whenever they send you uh, a message, then you will not get it directly. So what you need to do is you need to forward it to your own personal domain name or to whoever you want. So when you come here, you add a folder. So when you add a forwarder, you are going to be having something like this. So who created it was contact. So contact iao uh, mavexlight.com. So you set it to forward. So I want it to forward here. That's my personal email. So I add forwarder. 
so now whenever they send a message to contact amavexlight.com i'll receive it so that's uh that's it with the email so email routes in this advanced features one thing they are recommending now these are auto responders auto responders it's always good to have auto responders for example whenever they send an email because most of the time these web mails are always going to be used for official purposes and for business purposes so it's always advisable you set up auto responders so an auto responder what it does is whenever an email arrives on uh, that particular account due to your configuration you automatically replies so automatically replies so you can set a uh, the email first of all this is the email that um, you are going to be automatically responding to contact amavexlight.com now from the persons uh you put the name for example if you are running an organization you are going to put it there so put infinite web revolution revolution okay so you can put the subject based on the criteria of what the person wants interval on or you decide how then you can create a custom body now how you want the email to look like so after you have set up that you can go ahead and create it so this is not set up but i believe you have understood the concept so uh default address default address this are also advanced tools. so you can go ahead and explore those Go ahead and explore those image delivery pretty and all of these spam filters so these are just some little settings to tweak it so we are not going to be getting right into that um remember not you are not going to see options like this for all the hosting providers in case you are using another one so you're not going to be getting options like this for all of them so um billing and management yeah this is basically for this domain name provider oh sorry the web hosts those ones you're not going to see now file manager this is uh one of the most important most important aspects yeah file manager let's say you are building a website you do your uh, coding you install it here so this public underscore html the one you see here this is where you keep all your files or every file that appears here you are going to see it on the web now this website let me see how the website name is Mavex light so if I put Mavex light dot com let me see what happens now nothing is here as of now so that's it so you notice that whatever you put here let me create a, a file so I'll just put it index.html dot html so for the index.html I will be let me edit it and put some custom code there. This is for people who know some programming. Okay, so uh first of all you first of all have uh the HTML so I'm going to make it as basic as possible HTML start and close tag whatever you have uh, you have the head inside of the head you are going to have your title title so my title I'll say Mavex so inside of that uh, yeah you have yeah you have some other information then at the end you put your body body so this is a test so this is a test and yeah we are we can uh, see the changes you can see the changes and close so let's go now and re uh, refresh this so this is it said so this is what people do uh, some coding so this is it it's available so um i think you have understood that concept so whenever you have files this is where you upload them to whatever is visible on this folder is visible for everyone 
so be very careful of what you put here at first you saw some other information there was because of this folder here now um okay so i think information about that is over in case you want to upload you click on this upload you can select what to upload here let me see um i want to upload this let me check Yes, just like that you can so you set it to upload okay you can go back go back refresh the page and let's see if it appears okay it cannot appear that's one we need to use custom code we we'll have to use custom code to connect it to this HTML. Okay, so that's that's that. So let's uh, check on other information. We have images here. You upload your images, directory, FTP account, web disk. So backup. So these are all features you can explore. All features you can explore. These are SEO tools. Remember, this one is common only to this. Um, oh, this is iFastNet. This is iFastNet. So database, this is PHP man mean. So this is what is responsible for your database. So you can go to my SQL databases. So when you go to PHP man mean, everything that's on your database, that's where you get to manage it. So this particular uh, website we are hosting, this is where it is. So these are the information about it. So I think um, for those of you who know about uh, database you understand what to do so you can create a database here I square database wizard so you can name it let me say uh, infinite I'll call it infinite so you name it so you are uh, username you set the password and everything they are going to ask you to create user so let me see password generator yeah so copy that click on have copy so use password so create user okay let me just use this that's my name so you make sure that you give all the privileges especially for some other things but it's not recommended there are some things sometimes you will not have to give all the privileges okay so your database is okay it's okay so if you go now to uh my SQL databases you are going to find the database there so you can upload your files to that database via my uh admin okay so um that's it with database so site publisher you have um Domains is where you add domains. Hosting providers of offer you the um, option. They are what they call uh, add-on domains. They are what they call subdomains. So an add-on domain basically, if you are using a certain host like this one, so if I go ahead and create a new domain, what I'll be doing is I'll be setting up an add-on domain. I'll be adding another domain to this hosting package. Yeah, I'll be adding another domain here so I can put it here and add it. So whenever you want to add, I'm going to create another video on that. There you have to do what they call DNS uh, transfer. You have to uh, set up DNS. So that's for add-on domains. You also have a subdomain. A subdomain basically uh, is a segment of your main domain. For example, you have stuff like facebook.com. And uh, you can have a subdomain as web.facebook.com. So that one is for a particular directory. Or you can have download.facebook.com. So that's another, um, yeah, little segment. So redirect. There are times where on your website journey, you are going to have to uh, redirect certain things. At times, you may have a post, and some point the post is no longer available. You are going to be using redirects in order to redirect them. So what a redirect does is it's a uh, redirect <coughs> every. Uh, 
it redirects the that site the site which you choose on the redirect panel and set it to another one so let's see we are here so let me see we want to give a permanent redirect so i'll go to mavec like .com. so whenever i put mavec .com, i'll send it to uh let me see infinite web revolution this is our official website so let me add that redirect so now let me uh let's try this mavex see what happens okay so it automatically takes me to uh infinite web revolution this is original website so in case you want to uh, have access to that you see so that's how redirect work so you saw how the process was automatic so but i would like to let me delete the redirect it can cause us harm whenever a redirect is there you will never be able to use that particular directory will it redirect you okay so um yeah we have done with the redirect zone editor this is where you configure dns yeah, dns servers at name record c name record so this advanced uh because i don't think it's important for most of you for now so we are going to be creating videos on that elaborating more so dynamic dns visitors here you can get matrices visitors who are those who have viewed your website errors bandwidth raw access aw star this is very important statistics of your website you have uh verbalizer and all of that so sss access ip blocker ssl this is very important this is one of the most important so always uh, have make sure you have an SSL. What's an SSL? An SSL is a secure socket layer. So it's what provides this green padlock to every website. So whenever you see a website without um, a green padlock, the website is termed insecure. What does that mean? Whenever you send, um, whenever you put your information there, it's the, um, the transfer protocol is not secure. So it may be breached on the way. So hackers can have access to your, your content your data so whenever you see sites and you see they'll put uh they'll only give some red alarm here yeah, this site is not secure is the ssl that is not valid so this particular name uh hosting provider has what they call let encrypt so let encrypt is a, is a free ssl provider so you just issue the certificate so you just need to issue the certificate and that's all so but some they are going to at times we have add-on domains you need to take on extra steps so we are going to be creating videos on that so um ssl status you can check your ssl status and all of that but whenever you just buy a hosting at the always ask you for ssl so you come automatically so and um, that's it this is it passwords and security change language your contact information so these are all um stuff that i believe you guys can handle so the last concept we are going to be looking at is uh installation of scripts so these scripts these are different scripts most of them uh they call them soft quadrupulars apps installers so these are softwares you install on the website remember the file manager acts as a machine you can store um files there so these are different scripts for different purposes but uh, for the purpose of the training, we are going to be using uh, WordPress, which is a content management software. So you get to um, host your website. Uh, sorry, you get to have a website with a free backend configuration and everything without having to worry about anything. So we are going to be installing WordPress. So you click on WordPress. So some will not have this feature down here, but you will always see soft quadrupulars. So you come here, you have um, install now. So you select the the protocol. So let me see Mavex Lite. You make sure that there is no directory selected. If you want the website, if you want uh, everything to be stored on your main directory, for example, you can have different directories. If I put here slash wp. The only way that you access what is on this particular WordPress installation is if you put mavexlight.com slash whatever you have put there. So I'm going to be putting this as a infinite trial 
no let me just see infinite uh, web so I'll put a uh, digital marketing agency agency so with that you can create this admin pass I think for now we'll leave that so you can uh, set up admin email make sure that you always change this thing if you leave it there we have not created admin at mavexlight.com or it's going to be the default but uh, it's always available to change it i'm going to set it uh, to mine so install okay so this is it so let's check how our website looks like now let's check how the website looks like wow 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 mind blowing infinite web mind blowing a block with philosophy so this is the uh current team so this is it team powered by wordpress so you will not need to go into details for this for now we are going to see how all of that is being done so this is wordpress you can have access to a dashboard your back end where you get to configure everything from here so this is the wordpress dashboard so welcome you have just uh, gotten one step into your web development career so this is wordpress so here you can edit everything for example the layout you see belongs to teams so you can customize you can create pages add pages and all of that so i think that we are not going to be looking at wordpress today that's not the purpose of this training our purpose was for um, checking out our server, checking out our control panel. So after we have installed WordPress, let's take a look at the file manager and see what happens. I mean, mention to you that WordPress automatically uh, installs your backend all your files. So you see, there's there's so much WordPress. It's a script. It has installed all of its content. So all of its content now are available here. So you can. Uh, Oops, there are certain things that we need to edit. Anyways, it's no problem for now. So that's it. We can also um check now our my PHP admin. We are going to be seeing a new database. So PHP admin. So this is it. This is Mavex, like infinite. This is a uh, the WordPress installation, then this is the other default user. This is the other one that I created. Okay, so this side this are the stuffs. Okay. Okay, I know I believe the, yeah, I believe this is WordPress. This is WordPress. This is the one that I created. So these are the WordPress files you can have uh, users you can have post. So but this one all of it will be configured from your front end. So you can see this is how the database looks like, but we are not going to be working with the database. So WordPress is basically uh, on the front end. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you subscribe to this uh, channel, like the video you can share. So if in case you got any problems involving whatever we have uh, studied here so far, you can uh, drop a comment or we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So thanks one more. This is. Uh, infinite web revolution this is the beginning of our um edp 2023 master classes in empowerment for digital productivity so we are kicking off so i will advise you to go on to our website um check out the full details on that and get creative so thank you once more we'll see you in the next video where we'll be looking at um WordPress installation, oh uh, sorry, we'll be looking at um, WordPress, the teams, plugins and all of that. So thank you for watching.